Hi guys, uh, what up? It's your boy Sins, and today I'm going to be showing you the uh, difference between holding and peeking an angle, and uh, why it's good. Uh, basically, the reason I hold angles opposed to peeking is just because of how safe it is. For example, peeking, you're uh, literally exposing yourself to their angle, so if they're there, especially with a the sniper, they're going to hit you because they're going to have faster reactions. Obviously, sometimes you have peekers advantage depending on how fast you peek, etc. But uh, you know, it's not too good peeking. Holding's much better. For example, people usually sit up with that box head glitch on it. Uh, if you hold it like this, they can't see you until it's too late. And they have to run out into the open for you to see them. And then they finally see you. So they have no cover. They have to run back. And you can quite easily just turn around the corner like that while shooting at them. So it's much easier for you to kill someone when you're holding an angle. Because they usually run out of cover. And then you've got the advantage. It's uh, This can be seen in many like positions. For example, this is peeking. You're going to see each other at the same time. He has better cover, he can crouch and stuff, he can, you know, head glitch them barrels. However, if you hold the angle like this, where he runs into it, yeah, he could come up close, get close, but that's fine. You can just, I don't know, you can just drop shot, and you're probably going to see each other at the same time anyway. You will have a peak as advantage, but, you know, as long as you uh, hit your shots, you have a chance of outgunning him, especially if you have a better gun, so. That's also on the tables, but if you're holding it, and they come out this way, it's quite easy to kill them. Because they have literally no cover. They have to run all the way back there. And you can just swing out. I mean, obviously it's a bit risky if you can hear three, four. Don't swing out. Just uh, start shooting and maybe fall back. What I usually do is if I see someone. And I know there's more. And I'll usually, like, keep turning myself. So I know that uh, I'm not going to... If they try and peek me, I'm constantly going. So they don't get much of a shot on me. Just like that. Just round the corner. And then I, like, back off. But, uh, yeah. Peeking an angle is just, like, risky. Like, this is a peak spot right here. This is a peak spot, peak like this, uh, long range angle, snipers might use it, uh, peaking is ideally for snipers, because obviously you have the advantage of it being a one shot, so as long as you have quite good reactions, you are going to outgun them, but uh, holding, you know, it's just overall better for SMGs and assault rifles and stuff, because you can just quite easily take them out, but whereas peaking, you've got the risk of dying, holding, you have literally zero risk of dying, until they actually come around the corner, peaking, if you peak, it's good, it's good to gather info, don't get me wrong, you can peek, get info, you know, fall back, call your teammates, call to your teammates, uh, but in general, peeking is just really risky, because you have that ri risk of dying, and especially in game modes like S&D, no respawns, which is when you're commonly going to be putting this to practice, uh, it can really impact the match, especially when it's only uh, 5v5 in a scrim or a competitive game, and then 6v6 uh, regularly, so it's pretty risky peeking. Right, the reason I think holding is better than peeking, it's literally because of you're not running that risk. You're not running the risk of putting your team at a one-man disadvantage. It's and you can still get the info by like, if you get the info here, they're not going to expect you to be here. I mean, when I peek this corner, I come round, I check all the spots, and then I usually check round here. So like, if they if they come out in the open there, I, I already have the advantage because I'm aiming right where they can come from. They have to check all these different spots. That's why it's ideal for you to be holding instead of peeking. Because if, 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 well, they're peeking you, they have to check all these angles, especially when they're coming onto bomb sites. Back here, there's not too many angles, you know, just like the little uh, cubby spot there, uh, the barrels, and this little corn bit. But uh, for you, it's literally just one angle. That's all you have to hold, just one angle. You run out, you spray them. You try and go back, you spray them. It's really easy. Uh, that's pretty much it for holding angles and peeking them. Uh, I'm going to show you some angles that you can hold, especially with snipers. This is a really good one. This is a head glitch. Uh, if you just put your red dot right above the uh, step, you won't be compromising your aim. You won't be hitting the step. You can just shoot above it. Tap firing is ideal. If you spray, you're going to have to control the recoil. And uh, when I do that, I, I pull down too much sometimes and hit the step. But yeah, that's fine. Another angle you can hold is one like this. Uh, you can wallbang it if you try and run back while you're also peeking out. So you don't really add any disadvantage. The only problem is if a sniper holds this, which is quite common, they can wallbang you through. But I mean, it is quite a lucky shot if they do do that. Uh, just uh, assuming where you're at, I suppose. So just hold angles. Here's one. There's one. Uh, it's also, That's kind of a peak, I suppose. But I mean, they have to peak also. And they'll be the second one peaking. So as long as they peak slow and or not too fast and you have good reactions, you're going to outgun them because they're the ones peaking. They've got peak as advantage. So you're at that disadvantage. But obviously, if they're peeking slow, you'll see the arm first, etc. before they see you, so it's all good. Alright, I'll, I'll quickly go show, go over some uh, holding points for other spots, such as mid. A nice spot I, I like to hold is this, uh, for when I'm holding mid. You can see through the boxes uh, for when they push, and you can shoot through. As you can see, my bullet went clearly through right there. 
So you can hold this, get the info, back off. Don't try and swing out too much, don't show yourself that window, but if you just hold it, they'll run across, bam, easy frag. And if they don't run across, you can quite easily just fire a couple shots off, fall back, get the info. Maybe fall back to uh, this head glitch here, this is a good holding spot if you want to swap it up. Maybe you've already used this one, you don't want to uh, be in a common angle, I guess, the one that they're expecting. That's pretty much all the uh, holding spots I can think of, and uh, yeah, they're some of the best ones. I showed you some good head glitches there too, which uh, should help. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to drop a fatty like, dog, and I'll see you in a bit.